Hey guys, Brian Gilbank here from Mirror Communications. Today I'm going to show you how to add Facebook Messenger to your website. By adding Messenger to your website, you're creating a new way to generate leads and interact with your current customers. This is also great for users who are reluctant to fill out forms, or for soft leads who may be interested in your services. If a user clicks on the Message Us button, they will be redirected to Messenger on the web. If they had clicked this button from their iPhone or Android phone, the chat would have opened on the Messenger app instead. Let's try this out by typing a message. To save time, I'm going to simply paste in a message here and click Enter. Once I do, all page admins will receive this message. Since I'm an admin on the Mirror page, you can see that I'm basically messaging myself. However, when a real user sends you a message, their name and photo will appear here. To implement this feature on your website, you're going to need a few things. The first is a Facebook account, of course, and the second is a Facebook page where you are an admin. To get started, the first thing we need to do is to find our Facebook fan page ID. To do this, you can simply visit your page and click on About. Now scroll down and find your page ID. For now, I'm just going to copy mine and save it in Sublime. Now for the next step, we need to create a Facebook app. To do that, we're going to simply type Facebook developers into our search bar. Once it comes up, you can simply click on the first link. It should automatically log you in. Now that we've been logged in, let's head over to my apps in the top right hand corner. And we're going to scroll down to add a new app. As you can see, a new dialog box is opened where we can create our new app. We can enter our display name, our contact email, and we can even choose our category. However, for the purposes of this video, I've already created an app for Mirror Communications. Let's go there now. Okay, as you can see, we're now on the Mirror app, where you can see my version number, my application ID, and my app secret. Now we just need to grab and copy the Facebook SDK. We can do this by going to Settings. Now that we're on Settings, let's click on the Quick Start Guide. This is going to open the SDK for us to copy. Let's simply copy this now and paste it into our text editor, which is Sublime. As you can see, our app ID is already pre-populated for us. Now that we have the Facebook SDK and our app ID, we just need to grab the plugin itself. Let's head over to Chrome and grab that now. I'm just going to type in Facebook Messenger plugin. And again, it's the first link that comes up here. And we're going to click on the message us button. So you can see there's two styles of button, one small, one large, one blue and one white. Uh, we can skip the setup script because we already have that. We just need the plugin code. Let's copy that and we'll paste it into Sublime. We'll replace our app ID with the app ID we have here. And we'll fill in our page ID. And now we're ready to set this up on our website. Let's begin by copying the Facebook SDK. I'm just going to paste it into my HTML page here. And I'm going to put it right after the opening body tag here. I'm going to tab this over quickly. Now let's grab the plugin itself. Copy that. And let's paste it right here. Let me just tab this over again. Now I think I want to change the button color to white. and go with the large size. All right, let's save that and go to our page. Now I already have the page up here, so I'm just gonna hit reload. 
And as you can see, the button is now appearing. Let's test it out to make sure. And it appears to be working. Now that we have Messenger working, I want to show you a quick way to add a button to your website without the Facebook SDK. Let's head over to Sublime to do that now. The first thing I'm going to do is delete the SDK itself. And I'm going to delete the Messenger plugin as well. I'm just going to open this Messenger file I have here, which is the button. I'm going to copy that and bring it over here. I'm going to tab it over again. So basically, we're just adding a button here. This is your Messenger shortcode. And this is your page ID. And we have the image here. So basically, it's just going to not load the JavaScript. So let's save that. Go back to our web browser and we'll hit refresh. And now we can see we have a button. Let's just click this button to make sure it works. And it does. We'll just do a test message. Okay, great. It's even giving me the response, which is awesome. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll post a link to the post itself if you have any questions.